Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. These questions are all about the vulva, so the area that surrounds the vaginal opening. It includes the vagina too, but the vulva itself includes the labia majora, the labia minora, the pee hole, so the urethra, and the vagina. So, question number one. I get skin tags around my vulva and in the creases of my legs. Sometimes they can become painful, painful, but for the most part they don't cause any major issue other than being an insecurity to me. My doctor removed some of them at one time, but they came right back. Are there ways I can prevent them? So, unfortunately, a lot of times skin tags are going to be genetic, meaning some people are just more prone to developing skin tags than, other, but, uh, than others, but mostly skin tags are going to result from some friction between two surfaces. So, yeah, the legs and the private area are definitely areas where the skin surfaces rub together, and that's where skin tags can develop. So what I would say is there's no 100% way to prevent them, but wearing some clothing and underwear that are kind of flush, so tight against your legs or your skin, not too tight, but something that rests comfortably right up against your skin um, can prevent some of that rubbing of those creases and uh, skin parts between each other and reduce the chance of skin tags forming. So kind of like if I were to, well, I don't think I'd develop skin tags on my hands, but rubbing my skin together like this causes friction. But if I were to wear some tight clothing between my hands, the friction on my skin surface would be a lot less. So that would be one thing that you could try, but it's okay. It's easy for doctors to remove them too. But lastly, everyone has something. So I'm sorry they're an insecurity to you, but don't worry. No one's 100% secure about their body, and that's okay. Your body's great as it is. Question number two. Pea-sized lump under the skin between labia majora and minora. It's painless, movable, no itching, no discharge, no variations in color of the vulva, just palpable under the skin. Is this something to be worried about? So it's unlikely to be something that you need to be worried about. It's probably a lymph node. So we have lymph nodes all over our body, including in our private areas. Um, so a lymph node is just going to be a small little nodule that you can feel underneath the surface of the skin. They usually, well they get enlarged for a variety of reasons, but oftentimes it's just sort of infection control and keeping things clean. And so if you have a little lymph node there, down there, just make sure that you don't have any other like urinary UTI symptoms or vaginal it, symptoms like itching or pain. That might mean that there is an infection down there and your lymph node sort of enlarged because of it. But it could also just be enlarged for a normal anatomy and it's just keeping things clean down there. So if it doesn't get any bigger or turn red or become painful, then there's no reason to see a doctor. But if it were to enlarge, become red, tender, painful, um, it might be worth seeing a doctor because lymph nodes can get infected themselves and it might be infected. So right now it sounds like nothing to worry about, but if things were to change, go see your doctor. Question number three. I'm very young, but I'm already experiencing vaginal dryness. I have the Kylina IUD, which is a hormonal IUD, intrauterine device. It's been causing issues with me and my partner. What will help me get wet down there again? Okay, so this one is tough because many forms of contraception do have a side effect of reducing some of the natural vaginal lubrication. However, that can be overcome with a little extra foreplay. So making sure that you are putting in the extra work ahead of time to get aroused and turned on, and that should be beneficial for at least providing a little bit of lubrication in the vaginal area. But also, don't be afraid or ashamed to use lube. 
it can make a sexual experience a lot better and a lot easier. It puts less pressure on you and your partner and it's very readily available, easy to use. You just put it on, you can put it on yourself or you can put it on your partner. Um, and easy peasy. So consider that as well. So up the foreplay and consider lube. If you're using a condom, no oil-based lubes. All right, question number four. I've been having lumps in my vaginal area. They are hard and not big, but sometimes they hurt, but after one or two weeks, they disappear on their own. I didn't have sex. Should I be worried? So if you've never had sex, the chance of these being anything scary or STI related is minimal to zero. Um, however, kind of similar to the previous question, these could be lymph nodes or they could be fortis spots. Tough for me to say for sure, but the management would be similar. So like I mentioned earlier, lymph nodes become enlarged for a variety of reasons. They're kind of the gatekeepers and they make sure that no infection comes into your body. And if something does, they fight it off. And so they become enlarged for a variety of reasons. And I would just make sure, again, you're not having any urinary symptoms, so no pain when peeing or no blood in your urine. Um, and then no vaginal symptoms as well. So no itching or burning or uh, discomfort down there. That would be a sign that maybe you have an infection, but otherwise it could be totally normal. And then four to spots are going to be um, sweat glands, essentially. And they can kind of get clogged up and get a little bigger and smaller. That could be what you have. They just kind of look like little pimples. Um, super normal. Lots of people have them, males and females. So, um, yeah, a couple of things to think about. If you have symptoms of a an infection, though, talk to your doctor. Question number five. I think I may have a septate hymen, and I want to know how to get rid of it. So a septate hymen, it describes a hymen variant, so type of anatomy where the hymen, the tissue that surrounds the vaginal opening, septate means that you have a piece of extra hymen tissue that goes across the vaginal opening. Not a big deal, super easy to deal with. Sometimes it'll just break on its own um, with vaginal penetration. You could also talk to your doctor and we can give you dilators. So these are little tiny devices that come in, they start small and get a little bit bigger, wider, wider, and you insert them into the vagina so that they slowly stretch out your hymen and stretch out that septum. Um, so those are a couple of things that you can do. A doctor could also take a look and see if maybe a little teeny tiny surgery or little clipping would be needed. Um, not totally necessary, but it might be. So those are just a couple of options for you. Um, so wait and see what happens or talk to your doctor. All right, that'll do it for this round of vulva questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.